All right, what's up guys? Here's a new video for you. Um, this is how to jailbreak iOS 6. This is the easier version. Uh, if you watched my previous video, you know it, you had to go through some some hoops to uh, get uh, City actually on your device. Uh, with the newest Red Snow, um, you can download it. It'll, the link will be in the description. You can actually just, it'll install City by itself. So what we're gonna do is, um, you see I have iPhone connected here. We're just gonna push, once it's downloaded, just push the jailbreak button. What you're going to want to do is go to your iPhone, turn it off by holding the power button, let it turn off. Once it's turned off, you're going to hold the power button for five seconds. After five seconds, hold both the power and the home button for 15 seconds, then let go of the power button, continue holding the home button until um, Red Snow recognizes your device. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five. Continue holding hold. Now hold both buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button and hold the home button. And then you'll see that Red Snow has recognized your device. And it'll be exploiting with Lime Rain, waiting for the reboot. And it'll be identifying your phone. And then it's going to give you some options. Your screen will stay usually completely black. That's fine. All right, now all you need to do is just, if you want to deactivate your phone, you can. Right here, all we need to do is just install Cydia. Just click Next. It's going to go through the entire process. While this, while this is doing that, let me explain a couple things to you guys. Right now, iOS 6 can be jailbroken on the iPhone 4, both Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T, and the iPhone 3GS, which is only for AT&T. That is old and new boot ROM on the 3GS. If you have an old boot ROM on your 3GS, this is an untethered jailbreak, but for any of the other devices that I mentioned, it is a tethered jailbreak. Um, iOS 6 can also be jailbroken on the iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, in order for a tethered jailbreak to work, you must just reboot the tethered part. So when we're done with the jailbreak, we're going to go ahead and reboot it so we can actually access Cydia. Um, in part two of this video, if you guys watched my previous videos, I'm going to be showing you how to um, install and add the MMS settings for several different companies. Um, all these settings have been tested and they should work on any device, iPhone 4 or 3GS. Um, the main ones that I know are H2O, Straight Talk, Simple Mobile, and T-Mobile. Those are the pretty major popular ones. I know I think Net10 is out there. Um, the Net 10 settings are similar to the Straight Talk and H2O settings, um, but you should be able to find them on the web. Okay, guys, the actual time on that takes about three minutes roughly. Now once your phone is rebooted, you're going to press back and then you're going to go ahead and click the just boot option. And you'll need to put your phone into DF DFU mode again. I usually let it boot up real quick and then I'll go ahead and turn it off and do the reboot as, um, and do the reboot method so we can access Cydia. All right. So now let's go ahead and do the reboot method. So we're going to turn off the phone again. We're going to put it in DFU. So again, hold the home, the lock button for five seconds, then hold the home button for 15 seconds, let go of the lock button, and continue holding the home button until Red Snow recognizes your device. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let go of the power button. And continue holding the home button. Okay, so Red Snow has detected our device. Again, the screen is black because it is in DFU mode. This is fine. And we'll just wait, wait for redstone to reboot our device into pawn dfu if it's successful you should see this little pawn logo right here that means it is exploiting the phone and booting it tethered 
He can now quit out of Red Snow. And your device should be booting up. All right, now once it's booted up, Cydia should appear. There it is, and there's Cydia. We're gonna go ahead and open it to show that it is um, boot tethered right now. And now this is um, for an, uh, factory unlocked iPhones or phones that use Straight Talk H2O, those kind of services that where they don't need to be unlocked. In order to um, you, in order to use your phone, you would have to boot tethered, but not always. Sometimes you can still get the phone function to work because you're not using Ultra Snow or Mobile Substrate to actually use the, the phone. So in order to make calls, receive calls, text messages, that kind of thing, you can, and you're out, say you're out in public and your phone dies and you charge it up, your phone will still boot up, so you still can use the phone function of the device. You just won't be able to use Safari and Cydia and a few other tweaks if you have anything installed. All right, guys, so there's the jailbroken iPhone 4 and lower devices um, that run 6.0. If you guys have any questions, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. For my next video, I will be showing you how to input the settings for the different carriers onto your phone and what you need to add in order to do that. Uh, if you have any questions, again, comment, rate, subscribe. Have a good day.